Windows 10 is the most recent version of the Microsoft Windows operating system. It was released in 2015 and was initially offered free of charge to legitimate users of Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. This new version combines features from those two previous versions to suit the users in a better way for both desktop or laptop computers as well as mobile devices. The most notable change in Windows 10 is that Microsoft replaced the Start screen tiles from Windows 8 and brought back the Start menu. These changes make this Windows version easier to use. Signing into Windows 10 You will be asked to create a Microsoft account at the first time of use Windows 10. From this onwards, whenever you turn on the computer, you will need to sign in to that account. To do this, type your password into the box and press Enter. The Desktop Once you've signed in, the first thing you will see is the Desktop. The desktop includes the taskbar that sits at the bottom of your screen giving you access to the start menu, several application icons and the notification area. It shows you which programs are running and allows you to switch between them. It also contains the start button which you can use to access apps, folders and computer settings. Start menu Click the Start button at the bottom left corner and you'll see the new Start menu with its hybrid approach. Part Start menu and Part Start screen. On the left side, the familiar menu column appears with shortcuts to your applications and settings. On the right, a screen full of tiles with Windows apps. An icon is simply a graphical representation of an application or a file. Open any application. Click the Start button at the bottom left corner. Choose the desired application. If you don't see the application you want, select All Apps to see a full list of applications installed on your PC. You can click any tile to open a specific Windows app such as Mail, Calendar or News. About Windows in Windows 10, every application is opened in a new separate window, a rectangular box. If an application is active or opened, you will see a green line below its icon on the taskbar. Clicking the icon will open the application window. Every open window has three buttons in the upper right corner. These are used to minimize, maximize or close the window. Minimizing means that the window will hide in the taskbar. Maximizing will bring the window to a full screen size. To move a window, just click and drag the window from its title bar. To resize a window, move your mouse to any corner until you see a double-sided arrow. Then click and drag until you reach the desired size. File Explorer You'll use the File Explorer to manage your files and folders. The File Explorer program, previously known as Windows Explorer, has been given a noticeable look in Windows 10. There are plenty of new tools, though the basic layout and functionality will be familiar to anyone who has used Windows XP or later. To open File Explorer, click the File Explorer icon on the taskbar or double-click any folder on your desktop. In the File Explorer window, you can browse all your folders and documents. Let us understand File Explorer. Quick Access The Quick Access area by default is the first section of the navigation pane in the left-hand column. This basically is a bookmarks bar for the File Explorer. It shows both your most recently accessed folders and pinned folders that you manually assign to this area to get Quick Access To do this, just right-click any folder on any screen, then click Pin to Quick Access. Now you'll be able to instantly open this folder from any other folder label. To remove frequently accessed folders, right-click the folder, then select Remove from Quick Access. OneDrive OneDrive is free online storage that comes with your Microsoft account. 
Save your files on OneDrive and you'll be able to get to them from any PC, tablet or phone. OneDrive, Microsoft's cloud storage service, gets a dedicated folder beneath the quick access area. Other folders on your computer are available in a tree view below OneDrive. Files you save to OneDrive are available online at onedrive.com and also offline on your PC. That means you can use them anytime, even when you're not connected to the internet. When you reconnect, OneDrive updates the online versions with changes you made offline. Offline files come in handy when you're stuck without Wi-Fi, but they also take up space on your PC. If you're running on low storage space, here's how to keep your OneDrive files offline. To move files to OneDrive, open File Explorer, drag files into a OneDrive folder. You can create folders within OneDrive to save your document or music there. To save there, select a OneDrive folder from the list of save locations. Creating a new folder within OneDrive. Right-click on OneDrive icon. Select New from the drop-down box. Select Folder. A new folder will be created. You can rename it. Why would you want to use OneDrive? Till now, cloud storage was merely a means to share files with others or transfer them from one device to the other. Cloud storage becomes more affordable and increasingly attractive backup solution. OneDrive's major benefit is that it synchronizes across platforms and integrates with the services and applications you already use, including Windows, Office, Outlook and more to follow. Ribbon Interface More advanced functions are available in the Ribbon Interface introduced in Windows 8, which you can open by clicking Home, Share or View. You can make this area visible at all times by clicking the Down button next to the folder name in the window header, then deselecting Minimize the Ribbon. Copy or Move Files You can drag and drop files or folders from one place to another. If you are dragging and dropping files or folders on the same drive, it will move them to the new location. Otherwise, it will copy them. If they are on a separate drive, you can copy or cut and paste also using the right-click drop-down menu and even using keyboard shortcuts. Favorite Settings Windows 10 uses the new Settings app for most of its configuration and although the Settings app can be easily accessed through the Start menu, Windows 10 also allows you to pin your favorite Settings app to the Start menu for even easier access. A pinned setting app will appear directly in the tiles of your Start menu. Pin your favorite settings. Open the Settings window from the Start menu. In the Settings window, point your favorite settings, Network and Internet and right-click. On the small menu that appears, select Pin to Start. Click Yes on the screen to confirm the action. After this, you will see the Network and Internet app directly in the Start menu. Unpin your favorite settings. You can remove any pinned app from the Start menu just by right-clicking on it and choosing Unpin from Start. Virtual Desktops One of the new features of Windows 10 is the addition of Virtual Desktops. This allows you to have multiple desktop screens where you can keep open windows organized. To add a Virtual Desktop, follow these steps. Click Task view on the taskbar. Click the New Desktop option on the lower right corner. You can access or delete the new desktop by clicking Task view again. Shutting down or restart windows. When you finish your work using computer, it's important to shut it down properly. To do this, click the Start button. Choose Power. Windows will display options to sleep. Shut down and restart. Select Shut down to shut down the computer.